In this video right here, you will learn the absolute and best, most efficient way to learn Arabic grammar. So you don't fall into the mistake that you are about to see right now. I'm just watching this Arabic show, right? Since I started understanding yeah. Arabic, it's just like I can't stop watching it, man. Yeah, I gotta talk to you, man. Oh, man. Huh? Well, what happened? I'm just trying to understand, man. We started Arabic at the same exact time. We studied for the same amount of hours per week. We are exactly identical. No, we're not. I just don't understand how after a year, you are understanding TV shows, speaking, and I heard you last time, ordering a pizza in Arabic. Why are you crying? Though? So then, I will, wait, 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 go ahead. I'm going to order a pizza. How is his Arabic so good? I can't even introduce myself like that. Like, what oh, barbecue. Oh, tomatim. I don't understand how you can read books and you just so good at Arabic in one year. How did you do it? What did you do different than me? Because the thing is, we did it exactly at the same exact all right, time. All right, all right, listen, listen. Just tell me, what is your perspective and how do you perceive learning a language? Well, you understand how the grammar and the sentences form Boy, if you don't in the language, then you go ahead and understand the syntax. Well, and that's exactly what you should not be doing. Why so many people when they start learning the Arabic language, they complicate themselves with grammar? The point I'm trying to make with this little skit is what a wise man once said. He said, while without grammar, very little can be conveyed. Without vocabulary, nothing can be conveyed. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. My name is Mohammed Al-Andalusi, founder of AndalusInstitute.com. And today I'm here to answer the question, how and when you should learn the Arabic grammar in your journey of learning the Arabic language. But to answer that question, I'm gonna pass it back to Muhammad over there. Hey, back to you. Thanks very much. So we are back here. And the question, of course, is when and how do you learn the Arabic grammar? Well, to answer these two questions, let's think about any researches, theories, philosophies, anything that you might have in mind, and just think, how do you learn English grammar to be able to fully understand me as I am speaking to you right now, and how are you even able to form sentences in English? Now, anyone in this world learn his mother tongue without even thinking or hearing about grammar or trying to learn grammar. It just happens automatically. Now, to reinforce my point, let's read what Google says. Do native speakers know grammar? To be fair, most native English speakers don't know much about grammar because, well, why would we? We don't have to know the names of all the verb tenses or be able to explain what a gerund or infinitive is in order to speak English fluently and correctly. Now, this doesn't mean that we don't know Arabic. I mean, we don't know um, the grammar of our mother tongue. We actually know it, but we just didn't objectively learn it. It just happens by way of replicating your parents when you are young and just replicating what you hear around you from that language. Just like, like this article says on, on Google, learning grammar is necessary, but you should not spend all your time learning. In the same way that native English speakers learn to use correct grammar by listening to other people, reading, watching TV, and listening to music, which you should not be doing. You should do the same. It takes time to learn a language, and you must be patient. Now that we got this out of the way, and we know that grammar is important, yet we shouldn't focus on only learning grammar, just like Al Imam al Shabi said, uh, grammar is like salt in the food is is indispensable like we need it but it's not the main thing right i know that you are still asking yourself maybe okay then how and when then well the when i would suggest that you only learn grammar once you can understand a whole grammar lesson only in arabic the whole lesson is only in Arabic and you understand the concept and how to use it in Arabic. Not like many bad Arabic educators do by teaching Arabic grammar in English, making it confusing when it really shouldn't. Like translating like grammatical terminology like morfu 
into raised and Mansub set up, Majroor dragged. I mean, how are you even going to translate those terminologies? And this is what confused many of the students in the Arabic like an Arab program uh, in our institute, Andres Institute, when they joined. My from my individual experience, when I learned Arabic grammar, I learned it in English completely, and it was all completely difficult. So every little tiny term, which is considered completely like simple and easy to me now, back then it was like this vague concept. For example, when you study the, the Medina books, you'll see nafsp, maf'ul bihi, mustar, uh, raf, jazm, jar, all these easy terms now. They seemed so like difficult to me back then because I was learning in English. So that's what I was coming into the program with. So if I would have to compare where I was at before with the language to where I am now, it's it's incomparable. I thought grammar was like this really far away, complex thing that would be difficult to understand. And I think that's because a lot of times when you talk to people who have went through the process of studying Arabic, they make it seem like that's what grammar is. Arabic grammar is this big obstacle. but. I think it really comes down to who your teacher is and what method they choose to use when teaching you grammar. So with the program, it's such a, it's such, it's really, it's not as difficult as you thought it would be. Um, you're already familiar with a lot of things. And on top of that, you can understand the whole explanation um, live. You can, even if the class is live, you can understand it 100% in Arabic, which is really amazing. So that's the win. When you are able to understand a full lesson of Arabic grammar only in Arabic, that's when you should perhaps focus a little bit more in grammar. Now, in terms of the how, it's very simple. Just empty your cup and, um, and let someone who knows about Arabic grammar teach you that Arabic grammar. Go over uh, traditional books in order. You know, perhaps start with, uh, with Al-Ajrumiyya, then go into Mutammim Al-Ajrumiyya, then Qatr nada and the thing that is very interesting is that depending why you want to learn Arabic and what's your purpose after learning the Arabic language these books might not even be necessary and in most cases a well in-depth explanation of Al-Ajrumiyya will give you more knowledge about the Arabic grammar than the average four years curriculum of any Western university nowadays I mean if you go to any university right now so I'm from the mo cheapest one to Harvard, and you go to the website and you look for um, for the Arabic language major or like for someone who wants to major in that, and you look at the syllabus, you will see that the book of Al um in comparison with the super advanced expert professor, master, PhD level, whatever in that university, the subjects in Al Ajrumiya is way past that. And a student of understitute.com actually uh, came to me and said, you know, I think that the price for being part of the Arabic like an Arab program is quite low because I was looking for university Arabic degrees and I checked the syllabus and the advanced program in the university is more, I mean, is like the, the, the module number three in the Arabic like an Arab program is more advanced than the four-year degree in that university. So going to university will cost you anything in between 10 grand to 100 grand per year, depending on what university, what state, whatever. So you can just take a traditional way of learning, know the books that you want to learn, and go ahead and find a teacher who's qualified to teach those. But obviously, this can only happen after you have built in between 2,500 to 3,000 pieces of vocabulary, lexical items. And I wish I could go more in depth and explain to you guys uh, how to achieve those results. But I have uh, prepared something actually where, you know, I have more time and whatnot. It's an actually two hour online class where I debrief step by step and go ahead and explain you how you can achieve these results for yourself. So you can register for, uh, for the next one through the link in the description. And till there, I will say I hope this video helped to let you know when and how uh, to learn the Arabic grammar and, um, and how to go about your journey to Arabic fluency. And if you like content like this one and you want me to post more, please don't forget to subscribe, leave me a like, and perhaps share this on your social media with your loved ones or whatever it might be. 
so me and you inshallah can share the uh, reward of sharing beneficial content inshallah all right guys um, let me know in the comments what you think ما استطعت فضول اختلاط وأكل ونوم وقول يذم وصاحب نبيلا ولا تكثرن فكم مكثر يا أخي حرم وحقق إذا رمت شيئا ولا تسم بوهمك ذات الورم رأيت العلوم وأصحابها لدى كل ذي فطرة تحترم